What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing Tsukimichi, and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon. Link to that is below. We are reviewing Tsukimichi episode 8. This episode was kind of all over the place. We saw stuff, stuff in a demi plane, and we saw stuff with Tomoe training Toa and her party, and we saw a little bit of the Theric Forest where the Ambrosia flowers are. So let's do a recap of the episode, and then we'll talk about the parts that were piquing our interest. So it starts off with Emma telling Makoto, Tomoe, and Mia that they have uh, disheartened their warriors. Uh, they're too OP. After the warriors train with them, they feel like they're not good enough. They're not strong enough. They lose confidence. They're demoralized. And Wakoto came up with the idea that maybe the different species, because we got the orcs, we got the uh, lizard man, we got the alki. He was thinking, oh, maybe they can exchange fighting techniques. And the thing is, with these different species, they like to keep their stuff to themselves. They keep it secret. And so the three of them, or more like Tomoe, Tomoe made like a type of mock battle between the orcs and the lizardmen to showcase their strength. And the whole point of this was so Tomoe could make the demi, <laughs> the demi playing ranking to make different species fight each other. And um, the other species, they actually liked it. They enjoyed fighting each other. They liked that challenge. And I think this was started because Makoto said, or was wondering if, since they kept with their own fighting techniques, maybe they're not growing. Maybe if they fought with others, uh, their abilities will grow. And actually, that is the case. Now, by adding the demi plane ranking, there's some a little competition going on between the species because Tomoe says the higher rank you are, the more worthy you are to be a warrior of honor. And you know how warriors are, you, they love that honor, they want to be the best for their master, Makoto. And I think this is going to be interesting because. If they do fight others, like intruders and stuff, they'll be ready because they know how to fight different species. The next part they went to was, I believe they were at the Adventure Guild and Makoto found out that because of the last episode where they beat up the adventures and Lime Latte retired, the guild is low on good adventures, so Makoto suggested Toa. Toa's group, they're like level 100 and up. And then he asked Homoi to train Toa. And Makoto's motivated to train Toa because she knows that Toa looks like Makoto's friend from the other world. And she has a suspicion that Toa is bringing Makoto back to that longing to that other world because he looks like that person, that former friend. And so she wants to er take out, I want to say eradicate, <laughs> eradicate that. So Makoto concentrates on this world and forgets about the other world. So she, so she trains Toa and her group really, really hard to the point where they can be independent and never need to contact Makoto ever, ever again. <laughs> And it's interesting because she succeeds. And the last part of the episode, we have Makoto visiting Rembrandt Training Company asking to rent a spot in one of Rembrandt's buildings because Makoto has a store. He wants to start a store, right? But they did mention about espionage. The Merchant Guild um, made a quest for Makoto to do an espionage. And I was like, why? Who is Makoto going to spot? Why on? Oh, that's weird. Like, yeah, he can't be spying on Rembrandt because I feel like Rembrandt's sort of like the mafia in Sige. So I'm guessing they're gonna like spy on other stores or kingdoms in other areas and such. I'm thinking we're gonna 
go into this more later on in the season. And then Makoto is also talking to me on another scene about ambrosia flowers. And they are talking about that it's at this forest, Narak Forest. And at the end of the episode, they show Mio going there to that forest to get the ambrosia flowers. And they also show like two figures that are acting or they look like guardians of the forest and they're anti-humans. <laughs> So um, I'm assuming that the next episode is going to be about the Teneric Forest. The parts I found interesting from the episode was Demi playing ranking and Tomoe training Tola's group. I already talked about the Demi playing ranking and like how interesting it is from the recap and such. I got really into it, but what I liked about it is that that scene was so good. We got to see other people showcasing their skills and such. Like we saw some element skills. Like the orcs, they did like some type of like rock earth kind of thing. They like made the earth kind of like collapse to like earthquake, move some objects and such. That was really cool. And then we saw the lizard men showcasing some like wind power. Oh, it was really good. I mean, Hoping we get to see more, like we'll see more of these uh, rankings because Tomoe did say they're going to happen every seven days. And uh, it was kind of funny because I totally thought that Tomoe did this whole thing so she could give like speeches, act as a vassal spokesperson for Makoto, like how she's seen in those uh, dramas, those historical dramas. And the other part of the episode that I want to talk about is Tomoe training Tola's group. The reason why this piqued my interest is because Tomoe was doing this really good. She was training different classes. Like she was training like a healer, the alchemist. She was training the archer. She was training a tank. She was training the attacker, which is Tola the thief. She will be a formidable strategist in like a all out war. I'm just saying. And uh, I find it really interesting that her motivation for training them was to make Toa independent so she wouldn't rely on Makoto. Kind of doing like an out of sight, out of mind. It's sort of like she's discreetly getting rid of Toa, but making it seem like she was doing it for Toa's benefit. It was like, that was kind of shady, but you know, don't worry. She's got her reasons. She's like, I don't want to lose my master who's super interesting. Don't take away my interesting master. I'm having fun with this life. That's pretty much uh, why Tomoe did that, right? And it's like, it's making her human. I like it. Hmm. But besides that, let's talk about how she was training them. At first, it looked like she was training them for like endurance and building up their strength and such and then it came down to strategy because she noticed that they just charge and she's like yo you guys are wasting your skills why are you making the healer work so much how about one person becomes like the tank to attract the attention so the healer can only heal one person another is safe Far in the distance, being an archer, and the other one is an attacker, using your thief skills like stealth. And then with the rest of the mana, the healer can use that for offense. And that's like, oh yeah, could do that. Yeah, yeah. And it just makes me wonder it's like, okay, what is the experience and training system for these adventurers? Because Toa and them were like level 100 and up, okay? So it's like, okay, what have you guys been doing before Tomoe? Like, how are you guys surviving? But now that Tomoe has added a strategy, you know, made them do some critical thinking and such, man, they're gonna do so good. And that just makes me think about Lime Latte. You know, the one that Tomoe took in to be her spot. Oh, she's gonna train him. Oh, hell yeah. And that's why I thought that part was interesting because it made me think that Tomoe's gonna train other people. And that concludes my review for Tsukimichi episode 8. If you've seen the episode and there's anything that you want to talk about or I missed, please let me know in the comments below. Start a conversation. And if you haven't seen the episode, what's your impression of it so far? 
If you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash the Hua Superfina. If you watch these videos, do you like to stop by to stream? Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where I talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. They're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reviewing Tsukimichi episode 8. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Later! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.